Well, let's rock and roll. We don't have a lot of time. Uh, like how many of you, you, before we start, how many of you know Viva? How many of you have worked with Viva Connections and Adaptive Card Extensions building custom cards? And how many of you have known Connections and Dashboard? Viva Connections and Dashboard? A little bit? Okay. Uh, so just to give you a very quick uh, setup and introduction, Viva Connections is basically the entry point for the entire Viva suite. Viva Connections is an application that is used to be able to surface information that are tailored for you in order to be successful of your work. There are three main areas of Viva Connections. There is the dashboard, the resources, and the feeds. The feeds aggregate solutions and information from the entire your Microsoft 365 organizations, Yammer's feed, Stream, SharePoint pages, and, and SharePoint news feeds. Resources is where you have all your frequent sites and everything that it makes you uh, the ability for you to interact with the resources that you need at the snap of a finger. And then the dashboard, which is the area that we are talking about more today, is where you can have cards, those are these snippets, that basically provide you rich interaction uh, to be able to provide you the ability to have card view and quick view, which is what Ash is showing right now, and being able to interact with your work without having to jump across multiple applications. Cards can be provided by Microsoft, can be created by the dashboard operator, which is the persona that is able to create the dashboard in Viva Connections, or third-party developers can use the power of SharePoint framework to create custom cards. And one of the great things about Viva Connections is that it works across multiple devices and configurations, being Teams mobile, Teams rich client, or the web itself. Cool. Thank you for that context. And without further ado, let's get started. So like Luca said, Cards is the essence of your dashboard. So these are the cards you can see. There are multiple ways in which you can create cards. You have all the flexibility. What I'm going to talk about is how do you bring cards quickly without really having to know how to do coding. And even within that, you will see different uh, ways of doing so. So first off, I am here in my Viva Connections dashboard, which is something you can easily access from Teams. So I'm right now within Teams, and this is Viva Connections. You just pull it up by going here. Uh, for me to get started by creating the first card type, I am going to go in my dashboard section here, hit edit. And that gives me ability as an operator to add a card. I start by adding the card. The first card type I'm adding is a first party Teams application. So since it's a Teams app, I'm going to pick that and then I go edit. And I'm going to look for my first party Teams app, which in this case, I'm going to look for Viva Sales. And you can see it picks up the card title, the description, everything, and all I have to do is hit republish. And there we go. So my first party Teams app shows right here. Similarly, I could go and hit edit again, add a card. In this case, I'm gonna add a third party line of business app. You have to select, okay, perfect. Yep, so I do that. I'm gonna search for a Contoso retail dashboard, which is a custom app we have created. Now you will see here that are options, but I'm gonna keep the card size to be medium. And in this case too, because it's an existing Teams app, I it pulls up all the details from the app itself and I hit republish again. So essentially what we are doing here is we are taking our existing investments that we have made in creating Teams applications and quickly bringing them over here as a central employee dashboard so they don't have to go, if they're already here, they can quickly click and integrate with them. The way it works, these Teams app are deep linked into these cards. So I could show you both of them. If I click on my first card, the Viva Sales, it takes me directly to that Teams app. I can go there and similarly with my other Retail dashboard, I can click here as well and it takes me within Teams into that Teams application and I can start using it. So again, going back, repeating myself, if I am an employee who is using the employee dashboard here as Viva Connections, I can easily access these apps from here. So that's one way of doing bringing Teams apps. The, uh, we support all kinds of Teams apps, your personal apps, any Teams mobile app that are available in the Teams app store and also the bots, which we'll also be showing how to bring Teams bots as Viva cards here. So you already have invested in Teams, you already have invested in the custom application, an out-of-the-box application in Teams, and you want to have this Teams application participating in Viva Connections, especially in scenarios like frontline workers, right, where you don't have your device with you, you don't have a desk, you have a mobile experience, and you want that kind of uh, information to be available at the snip of the touch of the finger of the, of the workers, 
this is a way to basically reuse your investments without having to hire a new developer or develop custom cars directly with the connections. Yep. Thank you. All right, so now let's look at another type of card. Let's say you have also invested in creating an application, which you can easily quick come in here and just create it as a link card. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna pick it as a web link. And in that case, let's say I have created this SharePoint application and I also want this for my workers to be able to come in here quickly. Find this, I'm gonna just paste that link. Uh, since this is a little bit more content here, I'm gonna change the card to be a large size card. Again, you will see because of the hyperlink, it's picked up all the details, it's picked up the image. I can change it if I want, I'm gonna leave it as is for now. It's also picked up the icon, everything. All I'm gonna do is hit republish and I have that card as well. And if I click on it, it knows the behavior is for it to go and link into this page. So that's another way of doing it. Again, no code required, just simply clicking edit and adding your links or your Teams apps. Now let's talk about a different scenario. Let's talk about you wanna create cards in which you want a little bit more flexibility on how it works, how it um, functions. You want to customize them the way they look and feel, and maybe you wanna make them a little bit more feature rich for that we leverage the, part, the power of card designers. So I think a few of you said earlier, you guys know a little bit about adaptive cards or card designers. That's what we are gonna leverage here. So for that, uh, let's take a look at one of my cards here. I'm gonna show which I was uh, projecting earlier to Cafe 34, one of my favorite cards. I like looking at this on a daily basis before I head over to lunch just to see what's available out there. Now, how does this work? How did we go about creating this custom card? Well, we leveraged the power of adaptive cards. So here is How many of designing. you know what an adaptive card is in adaptive card framework? Perfect, thank you. Okay, so let's start here. So this is the card designer. I'm gonna hit create a new card. I'm gonna create a blank card. And we wanna make sure this is pointing to Viva Connections, and we do support the newest version of this framework, which is 1.5. Yeah, it shows a warning here, but ignore it. Uh, it is supported. So we can see that this is the card designer. Now let me go back to Viva Connections, and let's take a look at this card here. I am going to hit edit. Edit this card. Now you can see this is a medium-sized card. It has a title to it. Uh, you know, we've got a custom image on it. For the card action, in this case, we don't have anything selected, uh, no, nothing for the button or anything. It just says, show a quick view. So how does a quick view work? Well, there is a JSON for this. So all I'm gonna do is, I'm going to copy this JSON over, and when I go to my card designer, I replace this JSON payload here. And if I go about, why do I not see my, oh, there you go, preview mode. And you will see this card looks identical to what we are seeing in Viva Connections. So now let's take this example. This was a little bit of a reverse engineering. Let me show you how you would go about creating a card in Viva Connections, leveraging that adaptive card. So let's start by, let me first change this. Um, Let's start again, hit edit, add a card. Now this time around we want to create a card using card designer. So we do the card designer. I'm going to go to the properties. Let's keep it a medium sized card. Let's go call this. Let's say my scenario is me tracking my flight. I'm going to be flying for work. I'm going to pick an icon in the, let me actually first say flight status. And I'm gonna pick an icon. Let's say I want a little timer to show in my card. Select. I can add heading. Where's my flight? I can add a description in this case. I'm not adding any. Let's say I leave this as is. I wanna have a button on it. And I want that button to be called, let's say view. And the action is to go show me a quick view. Now, what does that quick view render and what would I do for that? For that, I'm going to go. So this is the card designer. It has a lot of sample 
content created here. So I'm gonna take this one, the flight update. Okay, let's do try yourself. And here's my payload. So all I have to do in this case as well is just copy this payload, go back to Viva Connections, replace this. I'm also going to grab my data, JSON, paste that over as well. And then one thing you will also see, these cards are customizable to who can be the audiences for this. So if you're creating a card that you only want a certain group of people to see, you can actually do audience targeting and a little bit of permission control there. So I'm gonna hit publish. And then when I go back, I see my card. And because I created a button here, when I click on the button, it actually shows me from the data JSON where my flight is at. So again, this is the power of using the card designer to create a little bit more customizable card. And like I said before, we um, support the latest 1.5 version of that framework. So you're able to leverage uh, things like the list views. And with that, I think I'm gonna hand it over to Luca who will show how to use more code to create and customize these cards. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. So we have seen two important scenarios, right? The first one is no code scenario. As an admin or as an operator, how do I create cards that are useful and functional for my team quickly? Then the next scenario was as a power user, uh, how do I use a minimum code, no code scenarios for basically by using adaptive card to build a little bit more richer functionalities. And we've seen that both scenarios can be used to create custom adaptive card JSON for showing that in the quick view or reusing some of my existing investment in Microsoft Teams uh, together with the Teams app a card or the WebLink card. Now, what happens if I want to be able to have my card to do something a little bit more, right? So if we go back to the example here, Ashu was showing where I have this card. This card point at a custom application that has been built using SharePoint Framework. How many of you knows what SharePoint Framework is? Perfect. So this is basically the application itself. It's a super rich application, has a lot of functionalities. You can see the one of these being the inventory. But let's say that as a developer, what I want to do is I already invested in this app. Yes, I can use the Teams app card to put that in Viva Connection, but I want that card to be a little bit more functional. I want that card to basically, for example, surface some of the information that are here in the card so that some of the functionalities can be consumed directly in Viva Connections without being requiring my users to interact directly with the Teams application. Furthermore, I want to reuse my investments and I want not to be able to rewrite the card from scratch, but reuse some of the components directly in my card. So that's what I can do with the power of SharePoint framework. Basically what I can do here is that if I go back to my connections and I edit my dashboard, let's say that I remove this card. So a little, I have a little bit of space on my dashboard and I can add a custom card. And now my card is called retail inventory. And suddenly you can see that basically this card now is a little bit more um, functionality is provided directly in the card itself. It has a carousel that goes through all the informations that are part of my inventory. And if I click on all products, now the quick view, which is still adaptive card JSON, but this adaptive card JSON now has been created by using SharePoint framework. And basically there is code behind the scenes that is feeding this view. And there is, and what you can do as part of a developer, not only you can basically query your API or reuse some of the adaptive card uh, JSON that you use to your Teams app directly here on the card, but you can also use uh, the deep link functionality in Teams to be able to deep link directly on the functionality. So for example, let's say that I want to select this product item and I want to click here. What you will see is that not only I'm able to deep link, but I'm able to deep link to a specific area of my app by providing contextual information and being sure that I can have the same kind of information available directly in my application. So now what I did was that I was able to lift that information and basically reuse some of the functionality but make my card richer and more functional directly in Viva Connections. One last thing before we're leaving. So what we are seeing right now, we are seeing some kind of functionalities that, that can be built using SharePoint Framework but we have heard 
customers and partners giving us feedbacks on how we can reuse even further. Let's example, let's say that I built a bot in Teams using the bot framework. Is there a way for us to be able to use that bot framework as part of Viva Connection? So the answer is yes, we are uh, basically in the development phase and we are going to release that uh, at the beginning of June. What we are doing basically, we are building a new type of card that will be able to use the investments that you have built using the bot framework in Teams. In this example, I have a card that is using the bot framework to basically surface some information of my custom list department. And you can see that one of the uh, command that you can see is basically, basically to show availability of a specific set of informations. And this is an adaptive card, JSON. Basically, we have worked together with the bot framework to have the bot framework being able to speak Viva. So now you will be able to have the bot framework not only uh, create custom information in Teams or custom card in Teams, uh, but you will be able basically to have a custom card and that card now is powered by the bot framework. So there is no JavaScript code, there is no SharePoint framework code, all the code lives in the bot framework and you will be able to do the same over here. And the same also works in the mobile. As I said, Viva Connection works across multiple scenarios and you as a developer or as a customer don't have to do anything, the same kind of experience will surface in the mobile in the same way as a desktop, thanks to the power of adaptive card. Yep. I know that was a lot of time. We only have 15 minutes. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.